Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Warzone, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the FFAR Assault Rifle, one of the more commonly used weapons in Warzone, obviously due to the ground loot being mainly the XM4 and the FFAR. I've noticed a lot of players recently trying to use this weapon now that the DMR has finally been nerfed, using new, new guns and trying new things out, and this is one of those guns. Uh, the only downside and turnoff to this weapon is the fact that it's not that great from long range however with this specific build you're going to be able to fry from close to medium range and actually do pretty well from long range so hopefully you guys like this build and we'll be able to do pretty well with it uh, what you guys are watching right now is just some gameplay of me demonstrate what this specific class setup is going to play like in a game of plunder so you guys can see a few clips uh, and how fast players go down before you actually throw these attachments on and run it for yourself but again i hope you guys enjoy this class setup so let's jump into it so if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using the muzzle that we're using is obviously that agency suppressor giving us the sound suppression damage range as our pros and a nice little boost to accuracy and range so again that agency suppressor muzzle the barrel that we're using is the 19.5 inch reinforced heavy this is going to give you effective damage range as well as bullet velocity giving you not only a nice boost to damage but a really nice boost to range a lot of players like bouncing back and forth between some of the attachments the only other attachment when it comes to barrels that i would recommend using is the ranger right now the takedown is also pretty decent there's really no reason to use the takedown when you can use that reinforced heavy because it's the same thing with the pros effective damage range but with the heavy you're getting the bullet velocity as well so you might as well go with the 19.5 the ranger is a good viable option but overall i think the 19.5 is the best way to go here now we're not going to be using a laser we're also not going to be using an optic this is one of the few ars in the game that i think is better without an optic so we're leaving that off we're also not going to be using a stock now the underbarrel that we're using is the field agent grip again giving you vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control this is what's going to help you out from that distance from those medium to long range gunfights obviously this thing has a kick and you want to make sure that you have some pretty good recoil control so the field agent grip is actually a really important attachment to use here with this ffar build now the ammunition that we're going to be using is the salvo 50 round fast mag this is giving you magazine ammo capacity reload quickness max starting ammo and ammo capacity is your pros. The only downside here is the ADS speed, which isn't that big of a deal with your primaries in Warzone. So again, the Salvo 50 round fast mag ammunition. And last but not least, the rear grip that we're using is the SASR jungle grip. This is giving you ADS speed as well as flinch resistance. Um, there's a couple different options that you go here. Obviously the field tape is just gonna give you flinch resistance with no cons whatsoever. Uh, you know, the serpent wrap will give you the ADS speed with just a loss of sprint to fire time, which again, isn't a big deal with the primaries in Warzone. But with that jungle grip, I like getting the ADS speed to make up for some of the attachments where we lose it. And I also like having the flinch resistance. So if you're in that gunfight where it could go either way, obviously this is going to help you keep your aim on track. So the SASR jungle grip is the rear grip that we're using. But I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific FFAR build here in Warzone. If you guys have any questions about this specific class setup, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video.